What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, the first bonus episode, we went through all of the alternative endings uh, to this wonderful game, and I mentioned that we would give a go at some of these extra episodes. Uh, and it seems here we've got the first thread where we're going to be playing as Ayane, who I believe is from the Dead or Alive series. I know her from the Ninja Gaiden Sigma series, but I'm not too familiar with the character, so I'm, I'm shocked. Or I'm curious to see how they're going to integrate her into the Fatal Frame universe. So let's go ahead and take a look. Ayane undertakes a quest to search for a girl named Tsumagi who has gone missing. Following her trail, Ayane makes her way into the abandoned inn and encounters the impossible. Stranger in the Rain. This is so interesting. How are they going to fit her into Fatal Frame? Ayane is a ninja from the Mugen Tenshin Ninja Clan's Hajimon sect. Her mission, to search for a missing girl, Tsumugi Katashina, last seen near Mount, Mount Ikami. Uh-oh. We know <laughs> things don't come uh, very nicely for those who end up near Mount Ikami. Ayane spins a purple thread, which should help lead her to the girl. Okay. And is Ayane now able to fight ghosts, or... Are we going to have a camera obscura? Interesting. So that thread is how we're essentially going to find her. Also, just look, it's so funny comparing Ayane, who's a ninja, her like resting stance is so just visibly, immediately, obviously aggressive and ready to pounce, ready for combat compared to those of the protagonists we've been playing throughout the rest of the game. So we, the purple thread seems to lead to that abandoned inn. I hope I'm not too late. Interesting, so that's how they animated the- oh, but I can't move during it. The purple thread, it's literally just a thread, but it doesn't show me like a connection, per se. Or like a path where I can immediately go. I'm curious, as always, if there's anything else strewn about the level. What's also kind of nice... I was gonna say, they're probably not gonna let me go all these other ways. She's in her hooded outfit. Stealth mode, of course of all the rain and everything, I'm sure. But she moves a lot faster than the other characters. At least it feels like it. Maybe it's because her animation is a lot more, well, animated. So we'll head into the inn. What are we going to find here? Are we going to find items in general? We don't even have a camera obscura yet, do we? Right? Water gets deeper, closer to the window, it must be leaking from the foundation. It's only a matter of time before this place collapses. Alright, well, I mean... So long as... There's no camera obscura I can use to fight, I might as well progress and see... What I'm able to find. Where's the string taking me? That way. Okay. Anything in this room? Doesn't seem so. What about hidden over here? This is where we get, we've we been attacked in the past. Also where some hidden items were, but none this time. So here's the real branching point. Which way? Hold down R2 to follow the purple thread. Okay. The purple thread shows the quickest route to Tsumugi's location. Follow the thread to find Tsumugi. That way. Okay. 
and this way I'll go. I wonder how long these episodes are. I mean, it seems like they certainly took some effort to, to program this into the game. Rubble's blocking the way, I've got to find another route. I could try going upstairs. Although, isn't there just a route around here on the right? Because it couldn't have been that easy to just implement this. It has to be genuine bonus content that somebody who's playing Fatal Frame would actually enjoy. Even if they weren't a fan of Ninja Gaiden Sigma or Dead or Alive, which are very different games from Fatal Frame, right? Anything of interest in here? Doesn't seem like it. Can I open this door? There we go. Okay, so it looks like they genuinely meant we'd have to go upstairs. Can I open any of these drawers? No? It's interesting. The pace of the game feels so much different because of how quickly Ayane moves. I know there's that other room that we didn't explore, but um, honestly, it's probably fine. So, I w I'm curious, where does the string lead this time? Okay, so it's showing us the route. It's not just showing us, like, a connection directly to Tsumagi herself that we then need to work around. Oh, how do we get over there? And it might be going up these stairs, it might be going around another way, whatever it may be. to the rescue, maybe? <laughs> oh shoot. That's not good. That's certainly not how I expected that to go. Wait, she made it out of there? Wow. Yikes. Ayane agreed to look for a missing girl named Tsumugi. Stealing herself into the abandoned inn on Mount Hikami, she was severely wounded by a malicious ghost. How could she fight off these supernatural foes? Ayane made her escape, realizing she may need the help of forbidden magic. Makes sense. Wait, so that was it? <laughs> that was the first thread? <laughs> okay, so clearly... Alright, so first of all, first thread, there's no, like, score or anything like that, so there's nothing more to do in that, potentially. But in the second thread, you can see there's a normal and a nightmare difficulty, so inevitably, right, we are going to find uh, a camera obscura we can use. That which should not be. The spirits of the dead. Unable to detect their presence, Ayane covers herself with protective charms and heads back to the mountain. And we have an ink bottle. Ink bottle? Special ink that allows its wearer to be hidden from ghosts. Huh. Wait, but we don't have a camera, right? Because there's... well, we have a lens, but... Huh. Interesting. I'm really curious to see how they do this. So anyways, the second thread. Purple ties. When confronted by spirits from the netherworld, Ayane is forced to make a fast retreat from the mountain. She heads in search of a means to fight her new opponents. Is she gonna find Kurosawa antiques? Where's she sleeping? Is this a memory? 
あなたがこの痛みに耐えられるというのなら大丈夫。これで強くなれる That's pretty neat. Interesting. So now we have our own flashlight. We have that ink, which supposedly the Shadow Sigil, a curse that allows the user to connect with the world of the dead. It enables the user to sense ghosts while masking their own presence. Interesting. So that's what we have on our back. Also, can I just say that how incredible is it that this game manages to <laughs> manages to make me enjoy cutscenes in that you know classic Fatal Frame style, even if it's with characters I'm not. You know, attached to it all yet. I sense something. I feel it. It's different from before. Tutorial Spirit Filament. The Spirit Filament will react to a ghost's presence and indicate its status. Blue is unaware. The ghost is completely unaware of Ione's presence. Is this going to be stealth? Yellow searching. The ghost has sensed Ione and is looking for her. Even when they cannot see Ione, ghosts can hear her if she makes a noise. Red attacking. The ghost knows where Ione is and is ready to attack. Walk up to the spirit. Okay. If you don't run and avoid making noise, ghosts will not notice you. However, there is something you need to keep in mind. Hold down R2 to follow the purple thread. Interesting. It seems ghosts can sense the purple thread. I should reel it back in before they react to it. Ghosts will notice you when you make noise. To avoid detection, move away from the ghosts and stand still for a while. Avoiding these guys could be tricky. I should give this thing a try. Tutorial Spirit Stone Flashlight. This is the only means by which Ione can fight ghosts. Flash the flashlight at ghosts multiple times to temporarily stun them. You can also charge up the flashlight to stun ghosts with just one flash. Ghosts will recover after a while, but they will have lost track of Ione by then. Use the Spirit Stone Flashlight wisely to get past ghosts that are in your way. Press triangle to ready. Whoa! Keep the circle in your target reticle and press R2 to shine the light on them. 
Huh. So it functions like the camera obscura, but it's fundamentally different. It's noticed me. That seemed to have some effect, but I'll need to hit it with something stronger. Hold down R2 to charge up the flashlight, then release. So I can charge. Ah. Press triangle to put the spirit stone flashlight away. It seems the ghost has been weakened. This is my chance to get past. Your concealment gauge will not recover while you are running. To let it recover, move away from ghosts and stand still for a while. Interesting. So we stun the ghost. Now we can essentially run away. Our concealment gauge is back up to, you know, where we need it to be. I'm having a difficult time controlling the camera, but I can't sense it anymore. With the flashlight and the shadow sigil, I'll be able to get Tsumigi out of here. Okay, so that's my combat, I guess. Which is pretty neat. Also, given that we have an inventory, I would not be surprised if there were items we could find now. So I'm going to be a little bit more thorough when searching the area. Yeah, maybe we should have worn our, uh, our hooded garb if we're going to be playing a stealth mission, right? Ghost in here? No? Okay, okay. Surprise. What about in here? Any items? No? Okay. Let's see. Thread? That way. That's such a cool animation. It really is. Oh, there's a ghost. It hasn't noticed me. Should I wait for it to go away? Ghosts will be drawn to any noise you make. Walking will alert them more than when you stand still, and running will quickly bring them down upon you. The safest option is to stand still and wait for the spirit to go past, and then walk upstairs. Stand still and wait for it to walk past. Try not to make any noise. I mean, I'm not moving, so... Gotcha. So I've waited for it to walk past, and now... I can slowly walk upstairs, right? I can sense there's three of them. If ghosts get too close to you, even if you don't move, your concealment gauge will go down and you'll be spotted. Sometimes you may have to quietly approach a ghost and stun it with the spirit stone flashlight. Try not to attract the ghost's attention. It's probably on the other side of the wall. I don't know. There are three of them, obviously. Getting used to how the uh, camera and view changes when I have this here. Concealment gauge is still okay. So that's good. Oh, and I have a health bar now, too. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, because we still have our concealment gauge doing all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pick up this sacred water. I think I'm going to try and just stun it anyways. Alright, and then while that's going on... I can go over this way. Before you get back in my face, I'll stun you again. I'd actually... Wait, did I take you out? Or is there an item on my right? There's an item on my right, I'm sure. Is there something around the corner here? No, there isn't. Okay. I doubt I'm supposed to spend this much time in the, the flashlight, you know, interface, but... Alright, little stun. That's fine. Concealment gauge going back up, so we're in the right place, making progress. There's a ghost on my right. There should be one right around the corner, is my understanding. But is there one on the right over here? Hmm. This guy over there. It looked like there was an item, too. Let's see if we can grab that real quick. these this is some herbal medicine I want to spend less time in the uh, 
<laughs> in the flashlight vision. But it is really strong. Was that something I could check, or what was going on there? Yeah, it was something I could check, but not something I can pick up. So I'll certainly need to stun this guy. So I'll charge this up before I get in range. And... Let's get up nice and close. Alright. Anything of interest over here? Doesn't seem so. Okay. Then we'll walk on by. This is pretty cool. I'm, I am very impressed with this. I will say. Okay. Is there somebody... Up top? No, but it looks like there is an item. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this type of gameplay that the Fatal Frame team was able to integrate with the character of Ayane, which is so fundamentally different from a Fatal Frame character, right? Very impressive. What's that on in here? Oh. Yeah, we're not going to have much of a choice with this guy. He's walking towards us. We'll just charge up our flashlight and get ready. Head on by. No fatal glances to be obtained here. At least I don't think so. And it seemed like there was a ghost on my left, so we'll want to be ready for that as soon as we walk in here. Oh, or a ghost or three. Where? What's going on? Are they outside? Oh, they're around the corner on the outside of this room. Interesting. So we just got a little bit of sneak peek at what we're going to be fighting out there. <laughs> Why, well, hello there. Oops. So that didn't work very well, obviously. Where? Where'd the ghost go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Now let's try and escape. I was like, we literally walked right into the ghost as it was walking right into us. Probably not the best move. Okay, any items to get over here? No, doesn't seem so. I thought I saw something shining out here, though. I don't see a ghost over here. This is so interesting. I hear them. But I don't see them, and I thought I saw something shining like it was an item we could pick up, but I didn't see an indicator for that either. Wow, it's dark in here. It's dark when you don't have, like, a, an actual flashlight. Alright, so the question is, where are we going to want to go from here? Eh, we'll do that for the sake of the points, I guess. Do we want to go this way? I have a map, don't I? I do. Yeah, we can go over here. There might have been an item at the end of the hallway, but I'm not going to kill myself over it. <laughs> Should choose my words more carefully on Mount Hikami. <laughs> to Hikami, Tani, or Hikami Tunnel Old Exit. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I should have been using my thread. <laughs> it's probably where I'm supposed to go. Okay, cool. So we'll keep heading in this direction. The game is saving, so it makes me think that we're moving in the right way. But in the meantime, the question is going to be where do we go over here? Do we cross over in this way? Oh. Or do we cross over a different way? So he heard us and is searching for us. That's why he's yellow, and that's because we are running around. Our concealment gauge dropped quite a bit. Ah, oh, dang, that was a bad shot, even though I tried to get really close. Do we want to go in here? Is there something interesting to find in here? This is the tunnel. And there are plenty of items. Is the thread leading this way? It is. Okay. Then this is where we'll go. Something kind of interesting, too, is, is the ghosts seem to appear, right? They, they're not just immediately visible. You kind of enter an area, and then it's like, oh, there's a ghost here, watch out. So I probably shouldn't <laughs> be running, like I was just about to say. But, hey, sometimes that's just the, the name of the game. Alright, so we'll 
We'll get this guy. I don't play stealth games too frequently, to be honest. Though I do enjoy the few that I do play. I would say the the one like real, like genuine stealthy game I play that, that has like good stealth mechanics is the um, Arkham games, specifically Batman Arkham Asylum. But I didn't play stuff like, you know, like Dishonored or anything like that. I, I wonder how my gameplay would actually end up, you know, some interesting combination or mix or in between of aggression and stealth. Because, like, when I'm presented with this opportunity, am I really going to wait? The answer is no. I'm probably going to sneak up on the ghost as quickly as I can and then <laughs> stun them so I can get by and then proceed to be stealthy. <laughs> I tried to take a picture. <laughs> Was that Zuki? No, it couldn't have. Hold down R2 to follow the purple thread. Huh? Why is it telling us to go back there? This is where the purple thread is telling me to go. That must have been an illusion, or perhaps it was a vision of the past. Anyway, the thread will lead me to Tsumiki. I just have to trust in it. That's pretty interesting. I played Soma on the channel recently, um, as many of you have probably seen, if you're watching this as it's coming out. And the stealth segments in that game were pretty fun too. What I tend to not enjoy in stealth games, though, is having to wait for many, many minutes. You know what I'm talking about, where it's like, oh, you run into the monster, and then out of nowhere, they, they're about to find you, so you find a hiding spot, and then you wait there. And, you know, if you have to do that every now and then, I, I get it. Especially if you're waiting 5, 10 seconds, okay, maybe 15, 20 seconds, but if you're waiting on the order of, you know, 30 seconds a minute, um, longer, and especially with a high frequency, then the gameplay just becomes not very fun to be. Oh, why, hello there. So we have been found. Is that, oh, that almost looked like it was an attempt at a, like a fatal frame sort of animation. Let's pick up these purifying embers. It's probably not going to go very well. Oh, what? <laughs> they can get eye on it too. That's almost comical. Okay, and we're... Oh, interesting. At least what's nice is that they pause the uh, the conceal... Whatever. While we're... Uh... Oh man, this is not good. Alright, so we're gonna charge, charge, charge. Alright, stun. Oh, there was something behind there too? Okay. We'll pick this up because I'm a masochist and want to collect those despite literally being on a ghost. And there's another ghost there. Alright, we're, we're doing great. I guess we made it past that segment, <laughs> if you want to consider that a clear of any sort. Alright, so we're in the unfathomable forest. The question is, are we supposed to be here? And I guess I should be more on my guard when picking up items. I didn't realize the ghost would attack us too. That's too funny. Let's see, where's the thread telling us to go? Okay, so we are moving in the right way. We'll keep moving then. It's almost comical. I, I was talking during the playthrough of, you know, Yuri and Miyu not being appropriately dressed for the cold weather and the rain and everything. I think Ayane is the least prepared. <laughs> I didn't think it could get worse. But you know, she would definitely struggle with this weather. But it hasn't rained yet. Alright, boom. We'll keep on moving this way, I guess. There are a bunch of little ghosty ghosts. Oh, and there's an item there. So naturally, you know we're gonna get that. So we'll get some nice, stunning going with that. While that's happening, we can pick up this sacred water. Ah, oh, man. Oh, wow, and they, it looks like they drain Ayane's health almost quite a bit faster than with the other girls. Okay, so we are getting attacked, which is not good. 
So in the meantime, we're gonna run away very quickly. That was interesting. Her whole, like, animation changed. Are the ghosts coming after us? We'll chill for a moment. But I think we're alright. Oh! Alright, we are not. Our friend is still coming after us. So we'll do some stunning there. And that should help us out. In the meantime, I want to make sure we're moving in the right direction. We might not get all of the potential items to, to be found, but... That's okay for now. These are some extra episodes that have been fun. They're <laughs> actually quite fun. This one looks like trouble. Which one? It's a ghost, but it reeks of blood. That must be the blood of its victims. It may have been human once, but I doubt there's any humanity left now. I'd better make sure it doesn't notice me. I'll... I'll do my best. Is that where we have to go? It probably is where we have to go. And the purple thread isn't pointing that way, I have to stay focused. Yeah, so it's going towards that shrine. Any items over this way? Doesn't look like it immediately. So let's watch his pattern for a quick moment. He heads off that way. He probably circles back. He probably comes back and then goes off into that corner there. So the question is, do we wait and see if that's actually the pattern he does? Or do we stun him and go into the shrine anyways? Honestly, given how long his path seems to be, I'm thinking we go and stun him. So I'll start charging. Oh, and I can see how long it takes to charge based on... Oh, wait, is there another ghost coming after me? No, I don't think so. Hope not. My concealment meter is doing fine. Uh, but in the bottom left corner, normally the bar that looks like it would be, you know, your spirit power. Oh, does he loop back over there or something? I have no idea how this ghost's uh, pattern is working. But he's not over here? Is he in the shrine? Hopefully not. It's so different when you can't light up the hallways. It's just so much intrinsically darker in everywhere. Which makes it quite a bit creepier, if, I, if I'm honest. So we'll head over this way. Again, not going to take forever to explore every nook and cranny. Just to be sure. Because last time... Okay. The thread led us in a direction different from where we saw Tsumiki go. Just want to make sure we were moving in the right way. Do you want to go left or right? I'm pretty sure left is, uh, is a dead end. It is. I haven't found any sort of like collectibles yet. You know, just items for the sake of score, which admittedly doesn't really matter all that much. Now it's not like we can upgrade our um, flashlight. At least I don't think so. I'd be very surprised if they implemented upgrades for the sake of four small, you know, extra drops, right? Alright, so we can head on this way. Do we want to go to the right? Oh, it looks like we do. I thought we'd be heading towards that area on the left with the water and everything, but no. We haven't encountered a ghost in some time, have we? So, yeah, we can keep going this way. It sounds like something's going on outside. <laughs> I don't know what it could be, but if you guys can hear it, my apologies. The purple thread's not pointing that way. Oh, that's right, it's this door over here. purple and black sort of color combination. It's very sleek. The combination goes well. Especially in these darker environments. Granted, it's probably not the most uh, stealthy thing for a ninja. <laughs> but hey, it's a video game. So, to the Shrine of the Ephemeral. We're going all the way to the Shrine of the Ephemeral? What? I'm shocked we're exploring so much. As I had a... <laughs> All right, well, we're on the path of the ephemeral. There's a ghosty ghost who is walking towards us. So we'll just do our stun and run. 
That's got to be like some sort of slogan or, or slogan already. Stun and run. Can't be the first to have coined it. Is there somebody on our left? There is. All right, so we'll we'll stun this person over here too. I've got to check where that you know type zero film always is, just because there's bound to be something good. Or if there is something good, you and I both know it's going to be over here. Ah, eh, purifying embers. That's honestly pretty pretty weak. Or rather, an ink bottle. All right, well, I'm going to start charging, even though I'm not really oriented at the moment. So we can stun our friend again. Oh, what? This is not good, actually. We're gonna I'm going to save up for a double stun here. Oh, that person left, though. All right, so while that is happening, let's run over this way so we can pick up the herbal medicine. And, oh shoot, we have been noticed, but we are running away. We're heading upstairs. I believe, successfully, hopefully. It sounds like we're getting away from whatever was coming after us. Our concealment meter, more importantly, is doing alright. So the question is, are we going to the actual shrine, or were we just trying to get to this path? What is with all these icons? That's still something... You know. Okay. However many hours I've played the game thus far, <laughs> these on-screen indicators still give me a lot of trouble. Is this like a note from Tsumagi? Probably. Note left behind too. There's a scrap of paper on the rain-soaked ground. No, wait, it's, this is the second one. Do we miss the first one? No! I don't need a voice. Mine is like my mother's, more than my sister's is. I wish it were the other way. Then it would have been easier. If I'm quiet, no one gets hurt. Nobody will be sad. Oh, did she, like, lose her mother? And... And people are reminded by her voice, and so she feels guilty? Tsumigi, she's inside. That was a vision. Is this another effect of the shadow sigil? Tsumigi must be trapped and close to death. That may be true of me as well. Uh-oh. That's rather ominous. Ayane cast a spell on herself, bringing her closer to death. Enveloped in darkness, she followed a purple thread connected to her target, Tsumigi. The thread led her to the Shrine of the Ephemeral, located on the summit of Mount Hikami. Alright. I guess uh, we, we take those, right? <laughs> Nice. So next up is going to be the third thread. Just looking at the timing of the recording, I think it's safe to say that we'll tackle this third thread in the next episode. I do know that there are four in total, so I uh, just kind of pacing things nicely. Uh, it'll be good to have the third and fourth threads in the next episode. So far, I'm actually genuinely very impressed with these extra episodes. A lot of times it's like, oh yeah, you get to like play as this character but you just play fundamentally like all the other characters you know there's not much different but this is like a genuine different game mode and it's got compelling gameplay and it's actually a little bit more streamlined i think than the main drops where they don't give you as expansive environments to explore i actually like that little bit of linearity um, that these extra threads add to the gameplay. So I'm actually enjoying them quite a bit. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the third and fourth thread. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.